Okay, what is an assault rifle? What is the difference between a normal rifle and an assault rifle? Okay, before World War II, or during World War II, every soldier usually have one rifle, and a rifle is looks like this, back in the days, like this, and a submachine gun. For the Germans, it was like this. Uh, the Americans had the uh, Tommy gun and the Russians the Pepe Shah. Why would they carry both? So, why would they carry a rifle and a submachine gun? You see it in the movies, the, the, every soldier with both pieces. Uh, because when you were shooting at the enemy for a long range, that's the, the only the rifle could, could get that far. And also the rifle was very accurate. Now it has a shortcoming. It was only one bullet at a time. So that's why when they were closing into the enemy, getting closer in an, uh, assaulting a position, they needed more firepower. Accuracy at a close range and, and you know, and range in a rifle was not necessary. What you needed is firepower. So that's why the machine gun, although it was very inaccurate and in, in a very run, uh, short range, it could overpower the enemy because you will press the trigger and it will spray any window, any trees, whatever. It was, it will, it will compensate for the accuracy. Why well, you don't need to be accurate when you can spray bullets. So that's why they they had both weapons, one for assault, one for close range, and one for long range. Now, somebody came up, the Germans came up with an idea. They said, why can't we just make one weapon that can do both things, okay? And they came up with this. Hold on, this is the old rifle, this one. You see, it looks like an AK-47, because the Germans invented this in Kalashnikov, uh, the Russian guy, when they took it and they modified and created the AK-47. This is the first assault rifle, a German rifle, that where the AK-47 uh, came from. It was inspired in this, and this is an assault rifle. So what they did is they made both functions into one weapon. They included something called selective fire. So now a rifle can be put in a single shot, which is semi-automatic, what we call a semi-automatic. You press the trigger, you shoot one bullet, like a normal rifle, good for long range, fine, and saving ammo. But at the same time, if you were assaulting a position, you needed a lot of firepower. And that means you need to spray bullets. So you can use that selective fire mechanism to shift it. And you press a little piece in the rifle and you, and you turn it into a submachine gun kind of rifle. So when you press that trigger, you will spray the bullets to the enemy. Now they added a third position, which is a burst fire. A burst position means that when you press it, it will shoot three bullets at a time instead of fully automatic. It will go like, like that. That's a burst. So now a rifle can act as a normal long range rifle, single shot or burst shot, like three bullets every time you press the trigger, or like a, like a submachine gun, fully automatic. So that mechanism, selectify, is what prepares a rifle to be effective at an assault. When you're in close range, you can just put it fully automatic if you want, etc. Uh, the AK-47 that they designed after this did that. So I shot many times in Cuba with real military AK-47. Not the ones that they sell here that they remove the assault rifle capability. Those in Cuba that I, I use, because every student, they, they had a class and they, they did it. it you will press... Uh, that trigger and it will go like if you put it in fully auto it will spray until there was no bullet in the, in the magazine or you can put it in, in, in burst instead of fully auto and it will go like tra -tra -tra, like that so every time you press it will shoot three bullets that's what it is now in America they don't sell these weapons here you can buy an AK-47 but they remove the assault weapon capability because they only leave it as a single shot so you buy an AK-47 here and you will press the trigger and it will shoot one. An M16 does the same thing. 
Uh, the AR-15 looks like an M16, but it is like a hunting rifle. You press that trigger, it shoots one bullet. So by definition, it is not an assault rifle because what makes an, a 